All right, gonna attempt to install the pistons. We already got the crank and rods in the case halves. Uh, already have the rings gapped. The top is at 21 thousandths of an inch. Second is at 26 thousandths of an inch. And the oil rings are at 16 thousandths of an inch. They're all already filed down, so we're just gonna go ahead and start installing with the oil ring, the expander. And we're just gonna loosen it up and slide it down there on the oil ring. All right, now for the uh, oil rings, you can see one, maybe you can see one has that little tab on the end, and this one will actually go facing down. Oil hole right by the side, rail notch right by the side of the wrist pin, top of engine, rail end gaps. Okay, so we want this on the top of the piston, right behind the wrist pin. Piston says right, right here on the, uh, top edge and then it also says front with an arrow pointing that way so we know this is number one uh, right side of the block and this will be the orientation when it slides in it also says uh, to use something like marble mystery oil on the actual piston rings and not to use synthetic oil or assembly lube so I will be using marble mystery oil on all the rings and we'll put assembly lube on the wrist pin uh, when we slide it in after we install the piston we're just going to rub some marble mystery oil all around the actual oil ring now I didn't see anywhere in the instructions uh, where this gap is supposed to be so I think I'm just gonna face that down made sure the uh, wire was uh, equal distance uh, between the gap just so it's not all pushed over to one end. So let's go ahead and start with the bottom oil ring. Uh, I did coat this already in Marvel Mystery Oil. So we want this at the right here with the notch and then the other gap will be right here. We are going to roll this in. This is the first oil hole from the piston wrist pin location, and we're just going to slide it in there like that. Carefully coil it around, and hopefully it will, oh, no, nope, messed up on this backside. Let's see if I can pull it out with one of my fingers. We have our little tab right here in the uh, oil ring in this top oil hole. This is the right side, front is that way, so this would be the top of the piston. Uh, you can see right here, that's about what it looks like, uh, like this. We rotate it like this. Turn it up right, we can see that top rail end gap is right here, and then we'll just leave our other one right here. So we have our other oil ring rail, I think is what they call it, oil ring rail. We're going to put my mystery oil on the bottom rail, working on the top rail. So we're going to do the same thing, we're just going to coil this one in. There we go. Nice. So, yes. There we go. I think we're in there. Halfway decent. So make sure, nope, our tab came out, so I'm just gonna re-align the tab in there. Come back here, just run my finger over. All right, I think we are good on the oil ring. Got another gap over on this side. Another gap on that side, let's move to the... Oil scraper ring, I think this next one is called. We're also gonna use Marvel Mystery Oil all the way around. These are some uh, goofy little cheap ones I got off uh, Amazon or eBay, so they're not that great. So if we look at the instructions over here, it just wants the top ring gap at A or B in the figure, position of the second ring gap 180 degrees. So this is the center line with the wrist pin. So since the piston's gonna sit like this, wrist pin is horizontal. We just need them to be in line with the wrist pins and opposite of each other with the top one. So let's turn this this way. I hope we don't mess up these uh, piston rings. Already got nasty stuff on there. Dog hair. So we're just going to open it, get it in the second groove in the back. No, we're not. Come on, baby. Oh. We are in there, slides around pretty easily. We got our gap over here in line with that side of the wrist pin. More marble oil on this ring. Top ring is the shiny one, compression ring. So here we are on the top ring. I tried to just grab it halfway down. So maybe it'll fit on better. Oh, I did do a little bit at that time. So our piston is assembled with rings. Top ring gap, second ring gap, top oil ring gap. I believe the oil expander ring gap is down here, and then the bottom oil, I think they call it rail end, the little flimsy one with the tab hanging down, gap up here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of assembly lube inside here. Just uh, do this right here. 
So I think we're ready to go. We're going to load up some level mystery oil on the skirts and inside the uh, piston bore and the uh, latch case over here. Let's do We did get this uh, back piston wrist pin circlip in here. So that one's in there. This is the back. It says right on the top front, arrow point pointing that way. We got this uh, Wisco piston ring compressor for the actual bore size. I've heard that the clamp style can get a little squirrely. Whoa, that's a lot of mystery oil. Yeah. I believe about both these since I got it. I'm going to get the inside of the piston ring compressor. Everything's nice and slippery now. Double check everything. Uh, I am going to see if I can line up the wrist pin hole on the rod with this access port slightly. So we're real close there. And I think we're just going to go for it and see what happens. Double check all my ring gaps. Make sure that the oil ring is properly seated. See, it's not. It doesn't feel like it has any give in a certain direction, which isn't good. Okay, so I think the, uh, the oil ring is just big enough to where if it's pushed all the way one way, the uh, top, what do you call those, rail end, the top rail end will actually come out of the ring land area and up onto the ridge. So just double check that, that you still got a little movement all the way around on the oil ring, but make sure that little tab doesn't come out, and dropping the bomb down the hole. Oh, man, this is, oh, Jesus. Oh. It feels like it's going down. Maybe I should get a little, I think it's going sideways, straight. All right, I was finally able to get the uh, rod to line up with the piston and the wrist pin. Uh, just barely got it uh, to start sliding in there. A little bit of persuasion, so just using the back of, using the back of this uh, quarter inch extension. It's going in pretty easily, it's just uh, getting everything to line up. I'll be assembly lube and the tight clamp. All right, so I finally got the uh, wrist pin all the way in there. Uh, there's just a uh, little gap between the end of the wrist pin and the end of the piston. Snap ring pliers and hopefully get this snap ring in. The only problem is these uh, snap ring pliers might work for this piston, but some of the other pistons, the access hole is a lot deeper and these uh, pliers don't go through the access hole. So I looked a lot online to try and find like a specific set of clip ring pliers four Subarus, you know, to get all the way down in here, but I couldn't find anything. The only other thing I'd say to be careful about is when I was taking one out, uh, I don't think I pulled it out. I didn't compress and then pull it out cleanly. It uh, popped out kind of halfway in, halfway out of the groove, and I believe it kind of marred the uh, area where the wrist pin slides. So it was kind of difficult to get the wrist pin in and out. Once it was in and out, it was fine. But uh, just something like, see, this one's not even in. All right, did finally get it in. Had to go down one size on the clip ring pliers, but just make sure it's uh, seated well and uh, maybe try and spin it around in the groove. Like, see, it spins not nicely, but it's in there nice and tight, not coming out. So first piston done, I'm gonna run through the other three, then we'll have a, uh, was this long block or something, short block? All right, quick little video here for the clip rings, snap rings on the piston wrist pins. Uh, I was having trouble finding a set that would fit. This is like a Cornwell set, but actually this Matco SPRC3, uh, it's this set where on the pliers you can actually change out the tips to different sizes, but this small size uh, of the pliers actually fit through all of the access holes to get all of the uh, little 
snap clips into all the uh, wrist pin areas. So good thing I could find this. I thought I was gonna have to grind down some needle nose pliers, but ended up getting them all in. So on to the next step.